One of my uh, scientific philosophies is uh, curiosity-driven research. In other words, what if questions, or why not questions, I like to ask. And at the moment that I ask this question, I don't have any application in mind. It's just for the sake of, you know, curiosity. With the concept of metamaterial, we decided to ask this question, would it be possible to use metamaterial to resurrect the idea of analog computer, but this time doing it with light? In other words, uh, can we actually have materials with a specific pattern that when you send a wave through them, it can actually do mathematical operations. For example, it can solve equations. And that's what we have done. And that's, uh, to me, is quite exciting because you would do a computation with light, with materials at the different scale, particularly the nano and micron scales. And uh, so that was the, uh, the genesis of this what if questions that I had in my mind that, you know, okay, can we do some uh, optical processing using the materials? The advantages of that, yes, I mean, you do it with the uh, light, so the speed is very high and uh, low power. And uh, when you take it to the nanoscale, much, much, much smaller volume. And so, so these are all interesting advantages. I'm a theorist by training, and we always start in our research from the theory to introduce new concepts and ideas. But it's also very important to test uh, the ideas and concepts with an independent measure, such as uh, experimental verifications and, uh, or computer simulation. So it's very important to connect the science and engineering together. I say I consider myself both, because in my opinion, uh, science and engineering are not separable. If you look at any engineering development, it has required the fundamental uh, knowledge of science and laws of nature. And if you look at any scientific development and discovery, inevitably, engineering has played an important role uh, in the form of sensing, detection, uh, measurement, and imaging. The recipient of the Benjamin Franklin Medal in Electrical Engineering, Nader Engeda. I'm very honored that the I work in a field of research that goes back to the work of Benjamin Franklin in the 18th century, and that's electricity. <laughs> so in a sense, you know, in electrical engineering, we are following the legacy of Benjamin Franklin, starting from electricity in the 18th century, and now we're going into the nanoscales with light and do a lot of interesting things. If you are passionate about what you do, and if you are in love with what you are doing, uh, good things will come out of this. Uh, and uh, I think motivation and curiosity uh, uh, the key. Because with the motivation and curiosity, we can go and learn. This sense of excitement and enthusiasm uh, is one of the aspects of my teaching and mentorship to my students and postdocs and colleagues and collaborators. To encourage them uh, to be courageous, to go into the new fields, new domain, to think out of the box.